I'm so sorry to be here today, but as a close friend to the man whose life was lost at an impeccable age of 92, I would like to say a few words. Vladimir, or to some of us, Vlado, was a respectable man whose accomplishments in life have helped to change the world, specifically organic chemistry. The man was a lovable husband, a respectable son, a caring father, and an entity in the world of science. He shall be remembered through the life and works of his son, Jan, and his family and friends. Throughout his childhood, young Vladimir faced many hardships, including the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand and the First World War in 1915. He also survived the separation of his parents. <laughs> He's my son! <laughs> Through all of these struggles, he decided to move on with his life, and he moved in with his aunt and the Greb Croatia. Hello. Mr. Prelog's life was not all about science. In 1933, he married at a young age of 27 to his beloved Camilla. By the power invested in me and in this Korean Bible, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may hug. <laughs> he initially worked in a private library in Prague, which produced chemicals. Because of his research, he was invited to join the technical faculty of the University of Zagreb, where he would lecture to, stu lecture to students about organic chemistry. He also taught a class here about chemical en and engineering. He was funded to research quinine and its compounds, which yielded the production of Serapatsul, one of the first commercial sulfonamide. Also, like the first to synthesize adamantine. He researched what, his research was published in the top European chemical literature publications, and his research was well known throughout the world. In 1941, Prelog accepted the invitation from Level Slav Muzika to move to Zurich, Switzerland, and lecture via professor at the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology. In the midst of his thriving career, Vladimir Prelog was blessed with a surprise: a child. He had a son named Jan. I'm here to award Vladimir Prelog with a Nobel Prize. Thank you very much for this award. Priorities have always been my priority. And I'm glad that you have recognized my contribution to the field. Long live Prelog. So as a friend of Vladimir Prelog and speaking for all others, we thank you for your contributions to the Rest in peace. Play? <laughs> okay, play? I'm so sorry to be here today, but as a close friend of the man whose life was lost at the impeccable age of <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> you 
crying too loud. I can't talk.